हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल द क्वेश्चन इज द आउटसाइड डायमीटर ऑफ होलो सेफ्ट इज ट्वाइस दैट ऑफ इट्स इनसाइड डायमीटर द टॉर्क कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ दिस सेफ्ट इज एम टी वन ए सॉलिड सेफ्ट ऑफ सेम मटेरियल हैज द डायमीटर इक्वल टू द आउटसाइड डायमीटर ऑफ द होलो सेफ्ट द सॉलिड सेफ्ट कैन कैरी ए टॉर्क ऑफ एम टी टू द रेसियो ऑफ एम टी टू बाई एम टी टू वन इज डैश सो हियर डाटा गिव हेन फॉर होलो सेफ्ट आउट साइड डाया डी ओ इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स डी आई सो आवर के डी आई बाई डी ओ इक्वल टू वन बाई टू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव so we know t by j equal to tau s by r t equal to tau s into j by r for the case of hollow shaft here t in question it was given as m एम इक्वल टू टाओ एस बाई जे बाई आर सो एम टी वन इक्वल टू टाओ एस इंटू नो फॉर हॉलो साफ्ट जे इक्वल टू फाइव बाई थर्टी टू डी ओ टू दि पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाई सॉरी माइनस डी वन टू दि पावर फोर divided by r equal to do by 2 so it will come tau s into pi by 16 do q 1 minus k to the power 4 for solid shaft m t 2 tau s into by by 16 towers dq in question it was given do equal to solid shaft diameter d so mt1 by mt2 equal to this one this one is mt mt1 divided by mt2 tau s into pi by 16 dq do and dq same pi by 16 tau s tau s so 1 minus k to the power 4 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power 4 so answer will come 15 by 16 next method of sections in truss analysis is generally found useful to determine forces in all members forces in selective members weights of the member bending of member it's two maximum range of projectile motion in a plane land is possible for angle of inclination 45 degree D Almert's principle one provides no special advantage on Newton's law is not applicable for kinematic problem is not dependent on inertial effect converts a kinetic problem into an equivalent static problem is yes. for it the answer in a solid cylinder and a hollow cylinder of same mass are allowed to roll down an inclined plane simultaneously then hollow cylinder reach the ground first solid solid cylinder reach the ground first both reaches the ground at the same time unpredictable here this is the ground from here 1 to 2 here only 
potential energy available from one only potential energy is available to kinetic energy is available potential energy converted to kinetic energy potential energy at one is mgh kinetic energy one is zero at two potential energy is zero kinetic energy to half mv square potential energy is converted to kinetic energy so mgh equal to half mv square so v equal to root over of 2gh v only depend on depends on h it's it is not it is independent of mass so if you take hollow mass or solid whatever it may be it depend on the h only so both reaches the ground at the same time three done sir the width of a simply supported beam carrying an isolated load at its center is double the deflection a beam at the center is changed question is if the width of a simple simply supported beam carrying an isolated load at its center is double the deflection of the beam at the center is changed by dash simply supported beam your isolated load delta 1 deflection initial deflection is we know it's w l q by 48 e i so here nothing is changed except i so delta is proportional to inversely proportional to i i is w l q by 12 w is width only width is changing to 2 w okay so i will change to 2 i so delta will half delta 2 will half of delta 1 so it will reduce two objects moving with uniform speeds at 5 meter apart after 1 second when they move towards each other and are 1 meter apart when they move in same direction the speeds of the object let it is a and this b both are moving opposite direction total distance Five meter. We know speed equal to distance by time. If they are moving opposite to each other, then speed total relative speed S R equal to S A plus S B. Okay. So finally. they came to this position in distance is 1 meter so how much the di distance they moved 5 minus 1 equal to 4 total distance is 4 meter time is 1 second so s equal to 4 by 1 4 meter per second out of all the options only one is satisfying the condition s r equal to 4 equal to s a plus s b only 1 2 plus 2 equal to 4 so option 1 is the answer next
a ball is dropped vertically downwards from the top of a building and another one is thrown horizontally which will strike ground first this is one very important question this one is very important question answer will three answer is three both will strike simultaneously same time they will strike three the answer that same formula it will applicable B depends on H. The linear acceleration a of a body of radius r with an angular acceleration of alpha radian per second square is this. Linear acceleration a equal to linear velocity b equal to r into angular velocity. Linear acceleration a equal to r into angular acceleration alpha a equal to r alpha 2 is the answer. Two forces act at a point the first choice first force has x and y components of 3 newton and minus 5 newton respectively the resultant of these forces fall on the x axis and has a magnitude of minus 4 newton the x and y components of the second force is so data given let one force is p and next is q p x equal to 3 newton py equal to minus 5 newton resultant r equal to r x i cap plus r y j cap so q x not given Q Y also not given. R Y given zero because the resultant force falls on the X Y X axis. So R Y equal to zero. So minus four equal to R X I cap. So R x equal to minus 4 newton p x i cap plus q x i cap equal to r x i cap so 3 plus q x equal to minus 4 q x equal to minus 7 newton P Y J cap plus Q Y J cap equal to R Y J cap equal to zero. So P Y given minus five newton. So Q Y equal to five newton. Q is minus seven five answer is a next a cantilever beam of length l is subjected to a moment m at a free end the moment of inertia of the beam cross section about the neutral axis is i and the young's modulus is e the magnitude of the maximum deflection is cantilever beam only moment l length is l so point is a b <coughs> slope at b is ml by 
E I and deflection at B is M L square by two E I. One is the answer. Next, when two mutually perpendicular principal stresses are unequal, but like the maximum shear stress is represented by draw the Mohr circle. Tau sigma stresses are unequal, but like so take in positive axis maximum pin stress this is minimum pin stress midpoint draw the circle this is tau max OA point is tau max it is radius of the circle. So, half the diameter of the Morse circle. Next. The elongation of a conical bar under its own weight is dash of prismatic bar of same length. It's one third. Delta conical equal to one third of deflection of prismatic bar deflection of prismatic bar deflection of prismatic bar is o l square by two e equal to p l by two a e equal to self weight it is specific weight into volume the beam is said to be uniform strength if bending moment is same throw out the beam no deflection is same throw out the beam bending stress is same throw out the beam yes three is the answer next a shaft between two bearings is rotating with a disturbing mass 25 kg at a radius of 2 cm. What is the balancing mass to be kept at a radius of 5 cm? So disturbing mass let m1 equal to 25 kg radius r1 equal to 2 cm balancing mass is m r equal to 5 cm centrifugal force fc1 equal to fc so m1 r1 omega 1 mr omega square m1 r1 omega square equal to m into r into omega square omega same Cancel 25 into 2 equal to m into 5. So m equal to 10 kg. 10 kg 3. 3 is the answer. Next. Thank you for watching my video.